to Alexander Volkanovsky. There's always a question when a fighter moves up about scale and ability uh, and size at a, at a bigger weight class. For you, I guess, how do you think he'll fare at 155 pounds? I think, Vol I think Volkanovsky, of all the guys who would move up, you know, a lot of times it's a, lot of times it's a guy who's at a weight class and then they, they move up because they're in their natural weight and they decide to give What's your thoughts about him moving up? Um, I think if there's a guy out there who deserves to, uh, to move up, I think it is Alex Volkanovsky. Obviously the selfish part of me says, uh, I don't want that to happen, you know? Uh, I understand how it makes a ton of sense from a promoter standpoint, from the UFC standpoint. You got the number one pound for pound guy in the world versus the number three pound for pound guy in the world. But I also think that Islam has proved himself to be our champion. He is our champion and we have to accept that. And I think he's a phenomenal talent. I also think he needs to have his first title defense against a lightweight. He needs to get through another lightweight before they start talking about super fights. Once again, I don't say that to uh, say that the UFC is making a bad decision or the wrong decision if they make that decision to, for, to let Volkanovski move, move up. up you got to remember, Volkanovski was, what, 210 when he was playing rugby? So he carried that power down. He carried that size down, even though his actual fighting weight is 145. So I think he'll fare well. That's, uh, that's part of the reason why I look at that matchup, and as a fan, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to see that matchup. I kind of want to see him come up. But me, selfishly, for my career, obviously, you know, I think... Uh, Number one, I think it just makes sense the normal course of action that Islam would defend the belt against a lightweight before we start talking about super fights. Once again, I'm not the promoter. I came here to sign to sign contracts and say yes to every opportunity, and uh, we'll see how we'll see how. I, th I think Volkanovski would do fit fine in that fight. I heard you mentioned before that Volkanovski is probably going to be fighting Islam next. Most likely, you've shared the ring with Islam. You got ready for a fight versus Islam, and you've also spent a lot of time training with Volkanovski. What could you give us maybe that you've seen from Volkanovski that might give him, you know, the ability to overcome Islam? Yeah, that's a hard that's a hard man to hold on the deck. Like he's a very, very stocky young man. And uh, yeah, I, I don't see him getting held down. I, that, that's just one thing. I've never seen it and I don't anticipate it happening. So I, I essentially think it's going to be a striking fight. So everyone can decide how they think that one's going to play out. It's going to be a scrap, you know what I mean? I got so much stick for picking Charles against Islam, which is crazy because a lot of people pick Charles, but still on social media posts and stuff, oh, you picked against Islam. Because yeah, Charles have fought the better people and I thought Charles was going to win. Can't I have a prediction anymore? People saying you haven't given props to Islam. I have. He looked unbelievable that night. He absolutely dominated Charles. I would have put up a better fight than Charles did that night, to be honest. But um, him versus Volk's going to be a scrap. Volk, especially if Volk's power, trans power transfers up to 155 because he's probably going to have a speed advantage and his cardio is going to hold up even more because he's moving up a weight. So it's a very interesting fight. I I'm looking forward to watching it, to be honest. I think Islam, Islam going to be finished, this guy. Islam is very, very talented. He's very tough. He's, he's power have, like. Don't know, like, like Today the UFC announced that uh, Volkanovski is moving up to 155. He's going to fight Makachev in Perth. Uh, who do you think wins that fight? I don't know. Um, that's, 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 that's a tough one to call. I'm not sure. This challenge that he has undertaken is as big as anything that anyone in the UFC has tried to accomplish in terms of becoming a double champion. Uh, it'll be tough, but I think that both of these guys are going to make for a fantastic fight. Islam or Volk? That's a good question. I would say I think that Islam is just too big. He's a giant. He's so big for the weight class, and then Volk's also coming up. The one thing that makes that fight cool is Volk has actually weighed over 215 pounds before, and it it would be very interesting to me to see if he can get as big at 155 as he is as a 145. Like how big can he get? I am curious to see that. If he can get big and strong enough, he has a chance at stuffing some of uh, Islam's takedowns, and he has a chance. But Islam is so giant. And beyond that, he's extremely technical with, technical with his jiu-jitsu, so that's a hard fight for uh, Volk, but Volk has been looking really good. And for me, uh, Volkanovski obviously wants to go up and challenge your, your friend Islam. Obviously, you're close with Islam, but I guess what advice would you give to some any fighter trying to go up and wait, down and wait to get two belts? Some Something that you accomplished. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did that. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I knew you were that. Uh, you know, you don't change much. You just get ready to fight. The guy's going to be a little heavier, but Volkanovski did not look small in the octagon whenever he walked in there to challenge Islam. He's shorter. And I may be, it may be an illusion because Islam's like at weight and he's in shape and uh, Volkanovski isn't. You know, he's like out of camp and looking a little bigger. But I think he made weight though, didn't he? Didn't he make weight? He still didn't look small. So he's not going to be undersized. And this dude has more talent, more skill 
than anyone. But I mean, Islam Makhachev looks to me like a guy who could reign for a long time, but I'm excited to see what Volkanovski can do with it. You know, I don't lean too much into the size discrepancy, at least right now. I want to see Volkanovski bulk up to 155 pounds and then maybe make my assessment. Uh, but yeah, I think the fight makes sense. I mean, you know, Perth backdrop for Volk, I think that should help to whatever degree. But I just, anytime you have a champion that is willing to fight the best guys in the world, and I think Makashev, like, just give me the contract, give me the guy you guys want me to fight, and I'll go fight him. So excited to see what Volkanovski can do with it, with the caveat that Islam Makashev looks like a guy who uh, should be favored over any lightweight.